What's up, guys? It's Pavel here from Emersoft. We've been working a lot with different businesses and different industries, helping them with CRM and HubSpot implementation. But recently, we've been getting more and more requests from real estate agencies. They are looking for the CRM that would best fit their needs. And guess what? HubSpot, again, seems to be filling all the gaps here. In today's video, I'm going to talk about an example implementation of HubSpot for a real estate agency. We will go through what HubSpot has to offer out of the box, and I will show you objects that they introduced specifically for real estate businesses. Let's get into it. HubSpot recently released a new update. They introduced an extension to current object library. And as we, as you can see, we have a couple of new objects here, but what's more interesting for us is when you click on that template button, they introduced a couple of templates for different businesses. One of them is a real estate business, which makes it the perfect CRM for real estate because a lot of things are already set up out of the box. So let's go through the process. Uh, I will go select the uh, real estate and let's click next. Uh, let's see what we have here. So first of all, they introduced a couple of new fields for a contact. We have a role and buyer category that will allow us to track uh, buyers and group them by different uh, properties. Then we also have a contact listing associ association. So we will be able to create listings inside of HubSpot CRM and associate them with contacts. Let's say if you want to add a property agent or maybe a potential buyer, if you want to keep those people in your CRM or maybe even a tenant depends on how you want to utilize your HubSpot. But now it's all available. Uh, next category is deals. We have already a couple of pipelines set up by default with this new template. We have a rental pipeline, buyer pipeline and seller pipeline with all those different steps. For instance, renter pipeline, we have a new lead viewing buyer pipeline also introduced some uh, steps here in the process. Of course, this is fully customizable, so you can take it, but you can adjust it to your needs. Then we have tickets. That's also pretty handy because if there is a maintenance request or something like that, you can have that ticket created and associated with a contact. Let's say you also keep people that you work with who do the maintenance work and you can assign them to different tickets just track who works with you, who does what in your uh, property management. And there's also a pipeline here to make it easy to manage. And then we have a new object, which is listing, and that's the actual listing. So you can create objects in your CRM listings for certain properties. And then with the API extension, if you would like to go ahead and take it to the next level, you can integrate that with Zillow, Zoopla, Rightmove, or whatever other portal that you're using and has some kind of API. And basically just add your listings to HubSpot and then automatically populate that to other platforms. Like the possibilities are endless. Let's go next and continue with the setup. Then we have the confirmation of changes that will be applied to the CRM with new fields. And success, we have it set up. Now let's go and explore it. Here's a data model if you would like to go more into details, but that's not required. And let's go to deals. So we have deals. And from here, you can select the new objects like listings. And now this is your listing pipeline. From here, you will be able to track your listings and have different, different stages, like it was shown on the example. Let's create the listing here. Name, let's do the 123 Main Street, that's actually the same. If you want to have a different name for the listing, that's that's also fine. And then create a listing. By the way, that form can also be customized. You can add properties that you really care about. So now we have a listing and we can associate contacts with them. Let's say you want to add a agent that is that works on that listing. You can have it here, then you can change the association labels. You have the listing agent by default, but that can also be extended. And let's say if you have a uh, property buyers or maybe tenants 
that are assigned to that listing, wherever the way how you want to set up, it's all flexible within HubSpot and it's actually pretty easy to set up. So now we have the listing, we have a contact associated with that listing. And if I go to that contact, you will see they have listing associated with them as well. If I go down there, listings are on the very bottom and you can just drag and drop it to the top of your list to make it easier for you to, to use. Let's navigate back to deals and here you will be able to see different pipelines that were added with the real estate template. We have the seller pipeline, buyer pipeline, and renter by pipeline. Let's say we are say selling a property. We can create a deal, new apartment. Then we can set the amount. Let's say it's a hundred thousand dollars and deal owner. That's that could be the owner of the CRM or the agent. And here we can associate contacts with, with this deal. Let's get Greg here again, and we can also assign a company. Then I create a deal and we can also associate listing with that deal. If I scroll down here, I will be able to see listings and I can add a new one. So let's assign the existing one that I, that we just created. And now I have a deal that is assigned with that listing. And we can also add labels here. So for example, I have a deal. Someone wants to buy my property that is listed in the CRM. We have the record there. Then we have a contact associated with the deal. Let's say that's a potential buyer and the listing has an agent that is associated with that listing. And now based of all of this information that we have here, we can create workflows that automatically send follow up email or maybe send a link to schedule an appointment or will notify the agent to look into the, the deal or look at the listing or things like that. Then we also have those tickets that can be created for the maintenance and that maintenance ticket can be also associated with a listing. So everything in, in one place. On top of that, this is all inside of HubSpot. And what I always say, HubSpot has great analytics and reporting. So you can really tie everything up combined with marketing, combined with a uh, sales process, and then have all of the information about your listings, properties, maintenance tickets, customer service, everything in one place. I also have a video about how to easily set up the referrals with association labels. And you can just do that within minutes and do the same here. Your referrals for tenants, for buyers, for sellers, wherever you want to track is there. With the new objects, you can easily find them here. So if I navigate to CRM, I have listing object here and I can see all my listing. This is my pipeline with the new listing that I created. And you can also customize your pipeline here. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you very much for watching.